what does a 70 degree angle look like when it comes to your face to the tooth? So it depends on the terminal shank down. It depends on the bends of the tooth. So this is an M23. I just have to go slightly because of this bend. And then on the mesial, I'm crossing the tooth this way. This Montana Jack by PDT has a little bit different bend. So when I use it, my 70 degree angle is going to be I'm gonna bend just a little bit differently. I'm gonna kind of cross the tooth a little bit. So you can feel if your 70 degree angle is off is if you can't feel the cutting edge, it, obviously if your instrument's sharp. So right here, see I'm parallel with the tooth. I can't get that nice cutting sound. I never want you to go off sound, but I can't get that sound. When I make that proper 70, I can feel that cutting edge on the tooth. So it totally depends on your instrument, how to make that 70 degree angle. This is a Bogey 513 from American Eagle. It has an uh, anterior inch mix. Yeah, it's completely straight. So you're going to have to bend a little bit to get on there. For me to make a 70 degree angle on a molar, especially on the museal, there's no way. I'm going to have to be like this. And obviously, your patient has your face. So it's really tempting to try to use anterior instruments in the posterior. But there is just no way we can get that proper 70 degree angle because they don't have the proper bends in the instrument.